Welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur. Today we're talking about the Hyena Don. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and cr jump right into it, guys. So let's look at what we got here. So we got three Hyena Dons here with their little meat packs, as we'll call them. But let's go ahead and start out with how you get these, where you guys are going to find them, and where's the best place you're going to get them. So to get these guys, you guys have to go up to the northern tundra on the island that's up in the snow in that area, and that's where you're going to find these. Now, the catch with these guys is they're going to come into packs up to six, meaning that you could have possibly six hyenodons jump you at once. Not the best thing that's going to happen to you. But what's really great about these is... They are now have joined the pack bonus. Yay, they get alpha status. Yes. So you guys can see I've got three of them here. This is my little alpha hyena down here. But the catch is, is if you guys catch these guys out in the wilderness, if they are the alpha leader, they're going to obviously be the highest level one, and they're untamable. And the way you guys have to tame these is these are actually a passive tame. So you're going to have to throw your ghillie suits on, sneak up behind them, and give them a little pet. You're just going to walk up to me like, oh, hello, doggy. And then they shine and glow. And it's like, yay, yeah, hello, I love you. See? And then they glow. So let's go ahead and talk about, other than petting them, they're meat eaters, as you guys can tell with most hyena dons, and they're really kind of cool. So basically all you have to do is just try to get close enough, pet these guys, and you'll get them. So the best thing I would suggest doing is go ahead, get an RG out, snag one of these babies up, bring them back to your base, and tame it by itself. Because obviously you can't tame the alpha, but you can scoop up the alpha and carry them away, and everything will work out great. Because as long as they're not part of the alpha status, you'll be fine. If you need to, go kill the rest of the high prac. Make them not alpha anymore, then tame them. Either way works. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about these guys. So these guys are really kind of cool. They do not become rideable, but as I said, they do have saddlebags, as you guys can see. So these things are not rideable. This is the first animal that's got a in a, a backpack without having the ability to ride. And what it is is, is we'll go ahead and jump on this guy's inventory after we pet him. It's fantastic. What it is is these hyenodon meat packs is what they're called. Basically what they do is they help increase meat carrying, so you guys can see it actually drops the weight of the meat a little bit, and on top of it, it's going to give extra preservation. So these meats are now going to last way longer than they used to work on the hyenodons themselves. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. I'm really excited for these because then that means when you guys go out hunting early game or anything of that nature, if you guys want to go hunting for some meat or anything, you can just go ahead and do it. So now let's talk about the glow that I've been petting them and making them all happy. As you guys can see, they're all like, hello, we are glowing. Basically what it is is they get an extra damage bonus and a damage resistance buff. So you guys can use these. Go hunt with a pack of them. Put them on attack your target. Shoot and just make them go for it. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and actually have these guys follow me. And we'll go ahead and do some work on these real quick. So let's just go ahead and ask these guys to follow real fast. No worries. I didn't mean to grab that. I enable order to follow. So they're all following me. They're all on neutral. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk up. And we're going to punch this trike and let them go to town. And there they go. So we get to watch these guys do some damage. They're going to get flung around a little bit. Oh. And that's that. So, uh, <laughs> my apologies there. I forgot about everything. I'm on neutral. So I apologize for the wyvern coming through and killing them. So let's go ahead and pull these guys a little bit further away so we don't have the same problem again. My fault. I apologize. So let's pull these guys away a little bit. Wyvern can go land over there. We'll take these guys up the hill a little bit and find something to fight. Let's go find something to fight. And here we go. We got still with us. Yep, they're still back there and everything. So these guys are going to get pack bonuses. You can get a bunch of them. But it's the meat consumption and everything. They get better meat. And it's just they're really, really strong. And it's actually kind of cool. So let's go ahead and find ourselves something nice and strong to get. We got one, two. Uh-oh. Up there he is. You falling behind, mister? So let's go ahead. Jump over here. We got Stego right in front of us. As you guys can see, we'll go ahead and pop him real quick. And watch these hyenodons tear him apart. Also... The thing else is with these hyena dons is when they're eating a corpse, so when they're tearing it up and everything, they're going to actually get a higher health consumption. So that means when they're eating, they're going to get their health back faster. So let's go ahead and get some health back in these. I'm going to get popped by this guy. They're on neutral, and here they go. They're just going to go ahead and tear up that stego. Look at them do that damage, and they're just going to eat that thing super fast. You can see the blood falling off of it. We do not have them on – I do have them on victim dis, uh, victim – and yeah, they should be harvesting, so I don't know why they're not harvesting, but it is up there they come. No. Nope. They're just following me. So they're supposed to, if they have low health, they're gonna go and eat those things. If not, you can eat them and just throw the meat right in there. Hyenodons, just feed them, 
keep them with you. They're great, and the fact that they get that. The uh, Hyenadon also gets extra armor from that saddle pack. Don't forget about that, guys. So it's going to be fantastic. So these are the Hyenadons. You guys can see they get the pack status. They're really kind of cool. I'm actually half tempted to go over here and attack this group and just see them tear through it, and we'll kind of run this thing up here. But these Hyenadons are a lot of fun. I've taken them out and killed a whole pile of stuff. So you guys can see they're, they're out here. Oh, we got a little egg. Hi, Mr. Egg. We'll just go and pick that up because we can. So let's go ahead and punch this guy. Yes, do damage to me. Oh, oh no. Uh, I just as a note, I do have infinite stats on. The the Hyenidons do not themselves. Man, they just tear through stuff though. What? Oh, oh, you want to go, Mr. Turtle? You want to go? Let's see how they do through a turtle here. So you guys can see them. They're just tearing through that thing. Taking a little bit extra damage. They ate that body. You can see he's getting his health back. A little bit of checking on this guy. He's got a little bit of health. He's fine. So no worries overall on him. And then we got to take him in one more thing. We're going to go ahead and go hit up a Therizinosaur. So we got a Therizino right here. Let's see what they do. We got a Kenstro too, so we could do a Kenstro afterwards. But I really want to try out this Therizino and see what they do to him. Where are our little friends? Oh, we got bugs. Oh boy, here they come. They're going to come help us. Nom, 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 nom. They'll eat those bugs pretty good. Let's see if they... They, they do uh, chat, cat, grab Chetan too, if you guys didn't see. Uh, they do grab them, but let's go ahead and let's get the There's Xenosaur. I want that There's Xenosaur. Where'd it go? There it is. We've got it. We got our three wolves. Our wolves, hyena down. I call them wolves. Oh no, he hit me. Get him, There's. Get him. See how they do. And we might lose one here. I, I can't guarantee anything. Let's see how they do. They're doing pretty good. They're tearing that thing up. It looks like they're going to drop a ton of damage. Oh man. Did they just tear that thing apart? So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys get a good idea of what's coming. As I said, these are not rideable. They are breedable, though. You can breed these guys if you really want to. So you guys can see. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump out of the inventory real quick so you guys can actually see them. That it says, enable wander to mate. So you guys can mate these guys if you want to. We'll go ahead and just do it real quick just to, to make sure. But we won't mess with it. So you guys can see... These things are going to be a lot of fun. You can make some giant packs of these and tear them apart, and it's going to be a big blast. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys are enjoying what's happening with these and how all these new dinos are coming out because these are kind of the last ones that they have officially announced coming out. There's been conversation about the Griffin possibly, but we won't speculate too much on that one. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know. Drop a comment down. Let us know what you think of the Hyena Don. As I said, they're pretty easy to tame. Just throw on a ghillie suit, walk up, pet them. Not a big worry. I would honestly just suggest putting them in a taming band and walking up and doing it. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Make sure you guys subscribe or like to the channel. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think or if you want to see a video of something else. Everyone have a fantastic day. We'll see you on the next episode.